Welcome back, Simon Says Farms. Today is gonna to be a long one. We got a lot on the plate today. Let's go this way. This way, come on. Hey, I'm going over here. Come on, let's go. Keep coming, over, no, not the roses. Jeez. You rose eater. Oh, goodness, Winnie. Yes, that's yours. Let's go. Come on, this way. Now they're in the bucket. They're traveling in the bucket. Okay. Woo. You're good. You're in. I gotta go get you guys now. Your camera. So you can hang out with Winnie today. Let's go off the wall, this way. That's the barn, I mean the barn. That's the farm store. She's taking a picture for an ad because we have to make an ad today. But the goats are out, the chickens are done, the boys are done, the ducks are done. We need to moved. It's hot. It's actually almost too hot for this today. I think I'm gonna take it off. Why are the goats eating Wendy's? That's not good. Yeah, I gotta clean this mess up. Just a few finishing touches. A few finishing touches. I have to build the whole porch. What are we talking about? On the House of Pie Barn for Hope 2. Hi, Hope 1. Let's let them out. Billy, Thunder, Pi, Thor, Danica, and Roman. Look at that. I got them all. Can you guys name them all? If not, you need to subscribe. Hit the button. It's down there somewhere. Please, every day, farm stories, every day. You're never alone. That's kind of our thing. Kind of struggling in life and you feel like you got nothing to look forward to. You can look forward to this face every day. Yeah. All right, goats, I'm getting you your hay. Next on the list, I think she's going in to make the ad. I got to change out of this. It's way too hot. And then I'm down back working on the porch after that. If I get far now, I'm alone today. Uncle Kevin, unfortunately, is not feeling well this morning, so he can't make it out. The plan was to have him here, so I'm going to get as far as I can by myself. I do have Tyler coming home from a half day of school. Yes? Winnie's already out. She's enjoying the sun already. Did you see yesterday's video where Winnie met her brother? That's out there. Um, yeah, no Kevin. So I'm just gonna go at my own pace, nice and slow. Maybe I'll get the metal on, maybe I won't, who knows? Rock out to some music and you guys will just enjoy a bunch of time lapse. So I gotta go get changed cause it's too hot and get ready to get to work. Okay, before I get to work, interesting kind of emotional sort of story yesterday. I'm so stressed out with this hip surgery coming up and the amount of stuff I gotta get done before then that uh, we got ultrasound day coming soon and ultrasound day requires very large dry erase board right there. See, large, very interactive. We put all the goats names on it and then during the ultrasound, you guys are watching live. It's on our other channel, link in the description below. At, yes, live, 24-7 on that channel. But as the, goat, as the goat is getting ultrasound, we write on the board how many babies we saw. And I had to take the dry erase board out of the shipping container where it was being stored and erase last year's data. So during that process, I had to erase Moo's name. If you don't know who Moo is, just go back and watch a whole bunch of videos. I'm not getting into it here. But that was a little, you know, like, uh, man. Here we go again, one more thing that I'll never write again on a dry erase board. So we move on though, guys, we have to move on. Just like if you play roulette, if you gamble and you play roulette, right? If the board goes, sorry, I'm moving a piece of plywood. That is Christmas Village right there. So if the roulette wheel spins and lands on red, and you look up at that little thing where the casino tells you it went red four times and your brain tells you, oh, well, it's not gonna go red again. It's gonna go black. It can't go red again. Yes, it can. The odds of it going red and black are exactly the same. 
there's the same amount of red numbers as there are black numbers. The wheel has no idea, it has no memory. It can go red a hundred times in a row. It can go red, black, red, black, back and forth. You never know, that's called statistical odds. They're exactly the same. The probability of it going red 10 times in a row is low. The odds of it going red back and forth are exactly the same. So my point here is because we went through hell last year in the kidding season, has nothing to do with this year's kidding season. This is its own year. Now, obviously farming is not gambling. We do, you know, make informed decisions as to whether the goat should be bred or not. Are they healthy enough? All that. So there's a lot of math and science and, and gut feelings in there. Gambling's just gambling. There is a lot of math in roulette. Just so you know, there are ways to kind of beat the game. Not beat it, but do pretty well. It's a very statistical math. I don't play enough. I actually like roulette. Way better than blackjack and poker. Okay, back to where we were. Um, gotta go get changed, then get on the tractor, then get to work. I just realized, based on the order of my videos, if you watch this video, we actually forgot to edit and update the video of us building all that. So, in other words, we post every day, but it's not always in chronological order. Dumpster guy's here. Had to feed, whoa, I almost fell down the stairs. And it was not a hip problem. It was a, I wasn't paying attention problem. Mom's busy working on marketing stuff, ad stuff, things, project stuff, new, new. Whoa. -oh. oh, there it is. I was putting gas, getting not gas, diesel, in the tractor, and I forgot to close the lid. It's gonna get loud. So yeah, Liz is working on ad stuff, marketing stuff, promotional projects. She's working on a lot. And I had to feed some puppies. So now, it's time to get to work. somewhere so I might have manipulated the system a little bit let's rewind for a minute the rafters those six rafters we used the template here on the bucket and we cut them off they're all exactly the same they got that little notch they got the right angles and then all the truss hangers just got put up those are the metal brackets you see way up there on the wall right those metal brackets but my point about manipulating the system is we have to cut the top of the six by six. Wanted 10 foot six by six is this big thick post, but they only sold them in 12s. And technically if I got a 10 here, it probably would have been too short. You can see that one's way too long, but that's how it works when you dig into the earth. Sometimes some go down farther than others. Now we gotta cut the top off. The easiest way to cut that top off is with a chainsaw. I do not own a good chainsaw, but I know somebody who does. That would be our child of 13. He's responsible, he's like a 30 year old trapped in a 13 year old body. And he bought the chainsaw with his own money. We supported it, we teach him how to use it. We actually bought the battery for it. The battery almost costs more than the saw itself because it is electric. It's a nice little guy. And I'm gonna go get it and use it to cut off the top of those posts. I told him, if I support your tool habit and, and buy the, like, the battery to go with it, it's kind of, I can use it. I parked there so I don't have to use reverse. I can just leave 
and go all the way around the house and head back. It's just more exciting that way. Uh-oh. His place is so messy, I don't know where it is. Where's his chainsaw? Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. Look at that up on the wall. I also grabbed some music during time lapse. I could listen to some music. That's always a good time, sort of. Oh, there it is. Ah, right there. All right, where am I gonna put you guys this round? Maybe we'll put you over there behind the tractor. We're back. Back from the time lapse, and I made a few mistakes. But it's okay. We're moving along. We're moving along. Some of the bird mouths ended up a little too big. See what I mean? Too big. But it still allows the rafter to sit up there nicely, get nailed in. It's all good. That gap would have been nice to not be there, like the one on the end. Not there. See how they get smaller as we go down? So we also messed up over here. We were supposed to leave this header extended past this post about a foot. We didn't do that, which means the porch just got about a foot smaller, but that's okay. The goats aren't gonna yell at me. The porch will still come out to here, the roof, when I put it on, because the two by fours can extend out a little bit to create just like we did here, right? When we built this, it ended here, but we put a one foot overhang. We could do the same thing here. We're gonna put a one foot overhang, which will bring us out there. there. We're gonna do the same on the other side. But now it's lunchtime. And then after lunch, I think I'm gonna grab the grabber for the bucket so we can pick up all this debris, clean all this up, bring in more dirt, do grabber work first, dirt work second, which will then make a nice smooth area to work in. So now your construction site is clean and you're not falling in holes and tripping over rocks and all that kind of stuff. That's it, that's where we're at. That's where we're gonna end it today. I think the phone is dead and I can't even see you. I don't even know if I'm recording. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh -huh.